This lecture, we're gonna configure location settings as we're creating our very first Google Ads campaign using some of the principles and strategies we spoke about in the very previous lecture. So let's jump back into the computer. Here we have, again, back at our Google Ads introductory page where we're creating our first campaign. We know we have a search campaign, our campaign name, we talked about networks. And over here, we could choose location targeting. By default, Google selects the entire United States, which is fine, fantastic. But let's say we want to now configure specific location targeting. So I'm gonna select enter another location and I don't have to go into what's advanced search necessarily. I can just start typing in a location. I can, start, I can type in an address, I can type in a town. So I'm gonna start typing in New York City and I have a bunch of options. Google's gonna populate a bunch of different options. So I could do New York, the, um, New York, United States, the entire New York. Um, New York, which is probably referring to just Manhattan uh, and all the different sorts of, of locations. Now I have the option to target exclude or select nearby. If I want to target New York and only target New York, then I, will, I would select target. If I want to target the entire world, because now that I've selected choose locations, if I just exclude New York, then I'm going to be targeting worldwide, just excluding New York. If I click exclude, you'll see that I'm targeting all countries and territories and I'm excluding New York. So I'm going to um, remove that and remove the New York target. I could also enter in a specific address. Let's say I just start typing in Cherry Lane. And there it is, North Carolina, United States. There must be a ch Cherry Lane near there. And I could also enter in specific addresses to target or exclude. Say I'm gonna target a town in Long Island, my hometown, Huntington. I see that there's Huntington Beach, California, but I could scroll down and find Huntington, New York with a reach of 94,000 uh, people. That's an estimated reach for the amount of eligible people that would potentially be involved in this campaign, not necessarily based on your keywords. Again, it's not 94,000 people based on looking for office chairs, it's just the total amount of people that Google estimates to be in that location. And I could target, exclude, or click nearby. Let's say I click target, great. Now, what if I wanna go in and use some more of the, more of the advanced location uh, configuration settings? So I'm gonna go to advanced search. And now I have the option to do a few different things. Under the location settings option, I could add locations in bulk and I could paste in a list of zip codes. And this is really helpful for a, uh, a lot of your two, businesses, a lot of you guys for two reasons. One you is if you're looking at historic data and you see, I highly recommend splitting up all 50 United States, all 50 of the states, adding them in bulk, and then you're targeting all the states, right? It's it's the same in concept, it's the same as if you would have just left the target the United target the entire United States option checked in the previous step. But if you upload and you specifically target all 50 states, that will give you the ability off the bat to modify your bids at the state level. So you might wanna get more aggressive or more conservative depending on your goals, depending on your data. The map area is also pretty cool. I could zoom in and zoom out of the map and I could see what location shaded in blue that I have uh, targeted. So let's say I'm gonna exclude Amityville. I'm gonna start, um, I'm not gonna go in bulk, but I'm gonna search for um, Amityville. And I see that I could exclude Amityville. And we'll see now in red on the map that I'm excluding that location. So if I scroll out a little bit, I'll see I have a blue, targeting a blue area and excluding the red areas. Okay, um, I'm gonna remove these for now. And I'm gonna just type in, let's say, United States, the entire country, 285 million people estimated. And great, I see that on the map now that it's targeted. I could exclude locations within my targeted location, right? So I could target the United States and I could take out, let's say, Arizona, if we don't ship to Arizona, right? And I could exclude Arizona. So now I have um, the United States being targeted, but Arizona being excluded. And even though that they're, they're overlapping, the exclusion is the one that will be favored. So if you're including Arizona through your inclusion of the United States, but you're excluding Arizona through your specific exclusion of that state on the state level, your ads will not show up to people in Arizona. It's, a, it's an important thing to remember. But let's say I'm running a campaign I wanted to be much more local. I'm um, saying I'm running a campaign um, for recruiting purposes and we don't wanna go so far out. We don't think people will travel as much. You wanna get you know, more local people. So I could just go ahead and let's say choose five miles and re-enter my address that I entered before. Target that and I'll see a smaller circle and I can remove the 20 mile targeting and I'll just be left with that um, smaller five mile radius. Remove that. Um, remove my Arizona, and then I could also use pin mode. So if I go ahead and click pin mode, I could scroll out and drag around the map and I could go into a specific area if I find my address or I find a competitor's address or I know of an area that I wanna target. I could just literally click and drop that pin on the map and then my five mile target. If I wanna do something with um, 
and I have to click target. If I want to do a greater mile radius, let's say I want to do 200 miles around a certain location, right? So then I could stay in pin mode. I don't need to type in an address. I could zoom out a bit, and I could find an area that I want to target 200 miles around, let's say Columbus, Ohio. I click target, and if I zoom out, I'll see my 20 mile target and my five mile target up there. Um, you have to get really deep in to see that five mile target and it's right over there. Also remember that you could go back and change your location settings at any single time in a campaign. I could add locations, I could remove locations, I could change my targeting and exclusion settings which we'll cover in two lectures from now. Uh, there's a lot you could do. You could always come back and make those changes at any time. So if it's not perfect now, don't necessarily overthink it. So using your specific business dynamics, do you have brick and mortar locations? Where do you ship to? Where have you been finding the most profits? Those are the types of things you want to start thinking about as you configure your location settings. And, and lastly, but certainly not least, remember that location targeting is not black and white. It's not either I'm in that location or I'm not in that location. I could modify my bid. So a $5 bid on a keyword in New York, you don't have to exclude Arizona if Arizona or another location is not performing as well. I could just modify my bid. I could put a negative 50% bid adjustment and now that bid will be a maximum of $2.50. I could put a 100% bid increase so that $5 bid will now be a $10 bid, right? All sorts of things like that. So it's not black and white. There's a lot of gray area when it comes to location targeting. And when you start using location targeting in that way, that's when you'll be a lot more successful with your Google Ads and you'll see um, your, your budget being spent that much more efficiently. So now that you know how to set up location targeting, I'm going to show you in the next lecture how to pull up location reports in Google Ads and after that we'll get into targeting and exclusion settings, which is exciting stuff. Cheers for now and I'll see you guys very soon in the very next lecture.